Hey guys, this is Dr. Sangeeta and welcome back to another lecture of Dental Patshala where we help you understand and learn dentistry better and easy way. And today's topic is local anesthesia. So today's topic we are going to talk about the local anesthesia. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys before we get started make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Well this video we are going to talk about the theories of local anesthesia. So last video we have talked about the mechanism of action of local anesthesia and this uh, video is also uh, actually a continuation of because in that video we should have talked about the theories about uh, the theories of the mechanism of action but since this is a separate asked question some of the uh, exams there is a separately asked question that the theories of local anesthesia so this is the reason we have covered it separately so the first theory is the acetylcholine theory now this acetylcholine theory states that that acetylcholine is not at all involved in uh, involved in the nerve conduction so it states that, that there is no involvement of the acetylcholine in the nerve conduction. So that is not true. So that is not acceptable. Then there comes the calcium displacement theory. So calcium displacement theory states that the calcium ion, they get displaced from the receptor site and they bind to the LA molecule. So this theory is also not acceptable and this is how the LA works. So then comes the surface charge theory. So the surface charge theory states that LA bind to the membrane surface. So it states that the LA actually binds to the surface and charge the surface of the membrane. So like that LA gives the charge to a surface that is not true. So that is not true because it doesn't give any charge to the surface and because of the change of the charges because of the change of the electric potential there is inhibition of the excitation of the nerve so this is according to the surface charge theory so it states that that local anesthesia charge the surface and by charging the surface because there is char because of this charging there is a change in the electric potential right so because of the change in the voltage and because of this change in voltage there is inhibition of the nerve transmission that is not also true then comes the membrane expansion theory. Now membrane expansion theory states that LA bind to a membrane and causes its expansion. That is also not true. So let me show you the example of this, the table for this. So guys, I am showing you this table of membrane expansion or uh, I'm sorry this diagram of membrane expansion expansion if you can see so it states that there is an expansion see this is the cell membrane so there is the expansion of the membrane which states that the membrane expansion theory now this theory because sometimes when benzodiazepine acts sometimes there is an expansion also seen so this theory is not uh, totally unacceptable so this theory is also acceptable so the textbook which uh, I have showed you diagram is the Melamed of 5th edition. So if you can see the 5th edition of the Melamed. So next one is the specific receptor theory. Now specific receptor theory is the most acceptable theory. And as you know that specific receptor theory we have already covered in the previous video. So specific receptor theory states that there are specific receptors to which this LA binds. So there is a nerve terminal. At nerve terminal, we have sodium gated channel, right? So these are the sodium gated channel. So these sodium gated channel, when this local anesthesia is a weak base, right? So it is a weak base when it is unionized. Because unionized can easily cross the cell membrane, can easily pass by at a faster rate. So it becomes ionized inside the cell member inside the cell because we have H ion. So it becomes ionized and it becomes lethargy. It stays inside and it goes to the so to this sodium voltage gated channel and it blocks the sodium voltage gated channel. One scenario is this. Another scenario is this that it can also block these 
sodium gated channel so these which are inside are the halt receptors which are outside are the mouth receptors so mouth gate mouth gate halt gate right so it can also block it from outside so that we will cover in the classification because there is a classification which are covering from outside which are covering from inside which are not covering either of it and previous video we have also covered that from the outside actually because of the fish there is a poisoning so we call it the tetrodotoxin tetrodotoxin is released and uh, it actually blocks this sodium gated channel from outside and also we have tertiary amines which block the sodium gated channel from inside we also have some kind which blocks neither of its channel and still it blocks the nerve conduction so this is about the theories of local anesthesia so main theory is the specific receptor theory because it state that that it is binding local anesthesia is binding to some specific receptors which receptors they are binding to so they are binding to these sodium gated voltage channel so these are the channels on which la is coming and blocking it and thereby it is slowing the depolarization because if you are not understanding this video then we have talked about in the previous video that in the cell membrane so basically what happens when this action potential how this action potential works so basically the sodium gated channel opens sodium comes inside then there are also the mechanical receptors which act on severe pain so when there is a severe pinching like ah uh, if i say so like that if there is a lot of threshold or lot of stimulus then what happens more of the sodium gated channel open when more of the sodium gated channel open now outside there are more of sodium inside there is more of potassium so more of the sodium comes in when more of the sodium comes in comes in comes in comes in then there is a wave of depolarization so then voltage increases it actually goes above beyond the zero so it goes see this is negative minus right minus 80 so it go, goes this is the normal resting is minus 80 so it goes above it goes above the zero and then it again comes back so which one is the depolarization that we are not talking about way because we don't want and if you want if you are interested in knowing then you can watch the physio lectures so this is about local anesthesia the main accepted theory is the specific receptor theory why because local anesthesia is acting to some specific receptor which specific receptor the sodium gated voltage channel so this sodium voltage voltage channel these local anesthesia they come inside when they are in unionized form they come inside become ionized block this sodium gated channel and thereby no sodium can come inside and this decreases the depolarization this decreases the impulse and there is no more pain and this is how local anesthesia has anesthetic effect on a local area because it is blocking the receptors at the local site so suppose if you want to do any nail surgery then you are giving local anesthesia so it is blocking the sodium gated channel of this specific nerves which are present on this specific area or the site this is how this local anesthesia works or if you are talking about tooth same goes specific tooth we will be talking about the techniques also so same goes for the tooth so this is about the theories of local anesthesia and if you have enjoyed the lecture give it a thumbs up if you enjoy watching me or listening to me then you can subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of lectures like this and if you find these lectures useful then you can also share it with your friends and stay safe take care keep reading keep studying i'll see you soon guys